I've had so many unproductive days where I just can't focus and procrastinate. And I'm sure you've had them as well. Hi there, I'm Jaden, and this is a GCC video on how to go from a grade five to nine. When doing my GCCs, I got all eights and nines, and I'll be giving tips to improve your current grades. Whether you're currently on fours or eights, I've included a large range of tips, so I've hoped to include everyone. I really hope you enjoy. Make sure to stick around until the end where I'll be giving specific tips on science, non-science subjects, and just general revision tips. Spam past papers. Do as many papers as you can find, but make sure to actually spend a good amount of time on them so you can learn new things. Don't just rush through them and skip hard questions. Make sure you have a good attempt at every single question and make a note on what you struggle on so you can work on it afterwards. You can also try revising the mark schemes of papers. I used to do this a lot. This made me improve my exam technique and allowed me to get into the mind of the examiner more, so I knew how to formulate my answers with more keywords, which led me to improve a lot during revision time. Go back over and over and over. This applies for things you don't know or can't remember. Write these important notes on paper and stick it onto your wall so you read it every morning and every night before you sleep. Make this information diffuse into your brain and over time these notes will be remembered, even if you're confident on a certain subject or topic. Still go over it as there is no negative in looking over something again. So many times I've seen people skip things they were confident about, only to get tested on them and for them to forget the important steps. Not knowing what you don't know is the most dangerous way to go about revision. By reading everything over and over again, you in theory eliminate this, so you can at least have an idea of what you need to focus on. Make use of your lesson time and teachers. This is the time where you need to be concentrating in every single lesson you attend. You can't be wasting lesson time anymore talking about random topics with your friends. You need to be harsh on yourself and work hard for these next couple of months. When in class, make sure you pay attention, answer questions, or do your general revision. You're in school for most of your day, so you might as well get the most out of it. Don't be afraid of asking teachers questions. Ask them whatever you have. Ask them how to learn a specific topic, how to answer this type of question, or even get them to go one by one with you through a work example of anything you're struggling on. If they're busy in person, then email them after school. If they don't reply, then just email three more other teachers. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get what you're looking for in school. Your teachers are there to support you and educate you, and at the end of the day, it's your grades we're talking about, and no one will chase you trying to get you to do better, so it's up to you to act. Don't be afraid of asking. There is no shame in not knowing. It's better to be a fool for five minutes than to be a fool forever. Some tips for science. The sciencey subjects like maths, physics, chemistry, and biology are all very similar in that there's a lot of just fact learning and fundamental understanding. It's important to be really solid on the basics before you try learning anything more complex. Understand what you're learning before you can try to revise it. Without understanding, it's just 100% memory, but we want to get that balance just right between understanding the content and then memorizing it, being able to explain everything about it. You can try to understand by reading examples in your textbook, searching video tutorials explaining it, or even just learning it in lessons. When revising, you may also want to list your subjects in order from weakest to strongest, and then split these subjects into your main topics and write it again in order from weakest to strongest. You have to be brutally honest with yourself, otherwise this will not work. Start with what you're least confident with and try to improve your weakest areas of subject knowledge first. Work your way through your list by using the techniques mentioned in this video, such as answering past paper questions, writing summary notes, and generally testing yourself. For subjects non-science and more essay-based, try to get past examples of student answers. For example, in English, there are lots of sources online for 100% essays, many different types of analysis for poems, and just general resource help on YouTube. These subjects tend to be more creative, and so reading what other people have done really helped me get from these low grades to the eights and nines. Also, you have to know how to answer each type of question. If there are a set of questions that will always be asked in every exam, then it goes without saying that you should learn how to answer them. History and English, again, are very good examples as they will always involve essays which are required to be written in a specific way. There are also questions which have a set structure that is best to follow and your school may have already taught you how to answer these. If they haven't, then it's not too late to check out those YouTube channels like Mr. Bruff and Mr. Sellers who give you a great step-by-step -step guide on how to answer each question in English. There will be people giving you such useful advice like this on every single subject, so all you need to do is find them. Also, by watching and learning, it makes a whole process 
a lot more interesting and fun since you're not doing 100% of the work completely alone. During your practice sessions, I would also advise you to keep an eye on the clock and have a timer in front of you. This will let you know how much time you're spending on each section and from there you can plan how quickly you need to answer. If you find you're faster on one section than the other, then you can allocate this free time to a harder part of the exam. Extra tips. Set good sleep habits. It's recommended at least six to eight hours of sleep a night, but this can obviously vary, but pretty much make sure you're not sleep depriving yourself and therefore sabotaging your own studying. Feeding your brain by having healthy snacks while studying makes the whole process more enjoyable and it's just physically better for you as your brain is obviously at overdrive trying to learn everything you read. You can't expect your body to perform well if you're not feeding it correctly. So munching on things like nuts, berries and fruit are highly recommended by me. A little every day is better than nothing at all. I've had so many unproductive days where I just can't focus and procrastinate and I'm sure you've had them as well. I always like to try doing at least an hour of studying before bed and think of this as being able to save the day even when you feel bad about all the time you've wasted. Seeing how everyone here is involved with revision, I thought it would be useful to include today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is a fun online learning community filled with so many useful classes for you to get involved in. I watched Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass and found it super interesting when he explains the productivity equation and so many different myths and principles which are holding us back from being more efficient. I've applied so much that I've learned and used these specific techniques in my own revision which has helped me during my intense study sessions. I particularly like the idea of Parkinson's law. The amount of work expands the time available for its completion and I've made adjustments in setting myself strict deadlines on when to get things done by. It really works and learning how to learn and be more productive is quite often overlooked for some reason by so many people but luckily Skillshare have given me a special link in my description where the first a thousand people to use it will get a free month of Skillshare premium for you to get that extra advantage you might want in your studies. In conclusion, preparing for and acing your GCSE exams requires a combination of preparation, effective study techniques, and a well-rounded and balanced lifestyle. By following these tips and advice, you'll be well on your way to achieving success in your exams. I really hope you've learned something useful. If you have, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more study tips as I usually do. So with that being said, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.